Hi, this is Charlie from Up Close and Acoustic. Just wanted to give you a heads up on what's going on with the show this coming week. I'm editing an interview that I did with Ben Trenery from the band Prince Bishop. Great conversation with this guy, Ben. Uh, it was a pleasure meeting him. I found out about him through a, a little blurb in a, a music magazine. And uh, I think what drew me to want to interview him beyond the songs was his experiences in life and the way he experienced and is, and is experiencing life. It reminded me of my favorite novel. Um, the novel's called The Razor's Edge by Somerset Mom. I've mentioned this in um, interviews before, but I don't think I've mentioned it in one of these videos that I do just for you. Um, the Razor's Edge concerns um, a character that most characters, most of the other characters in the book are connected by. It was also made into a great movie in the late 40s, maybe, or early 50s, starring Tyrone Power. Excellent movie, excellent adaptation of the book so if you don't feel like reading the book the razor's edge check out the version with tyrone power in the razor's edge excellent movie anyhow the movie concerns and the book concerns uh one man's search for something he comes home after world war one disillusioned he lost a good friend in the war uh, a friend who sacrificed his life to save the main character, Larry, in the book. And um, when it came time to get back to work and back home after World War I, Larry wasn't ready to go to work. He wasn't ready to do much of anything except what he referred to as loaf. Now, I want to point out that Larry's journey... Um, <laughs> It involved no loafing. Uh, basically, he would get himself across the world. He traveled the world in search of something, and he wasn't sure what it was. Um, eventually, we come to find out that what Larry was searching for, amongst other things like uh, you know, a direction or a purpose, he was actually searching for happiness. Um, and none of his friends could understand why Larry wasn't searching for money, fame, prosperity, um, everything else that his contemporaries were looking for to be happy. Uh, turns out Larry, by the end of the novel, discovers that he had been searching all along for happiness. When I introduced when I interviewed Ben Trenery, um, it sounds like he's been on a similar journey. I'm roughly halfway through editing the show and putting it together. It's going to be very good, uh, including three live performances augmented by some of the stuff off of his CD or the Prince Bishop CD. That's the act. That is the... Um, I guess that is the name of his project, Prince Bishop, but mainly it's it's Ben and then supplemented by uh, another two players, if and when they play live. Um, highly recommend you listen up for that because I draw and I drew during our conversation many parallels between Ben and the character of Larry Darrell from... The Razor's Edge. And for me, for me personally, that made the interview one of my favorites. Um, I hope you like it. It's being put together right now as I'm recording this for you. I'm assembling that show when it's ready. As usual, across all the different social media platforms, you'll be informed. But I wanted to give you a heads up that the songwriter has experienced a lot in life we talk about some of that and it manifests itself 
in his music and the music that he creates. And I think you will enjoy it. Anyhow, I just wanted to give you a heads up as to what was going on with the show. Look for that very soon within the next week or so. And I'll give everybody a heads up when it's ready, including Ben Trenery. Um, that's all for now. I just wanted to make sure you knew that I was on the case and uh, I was getting another show ready for you. I hope you enjoy. I think you will. And if you get a chance, watch or read The Razor's Edge. Very good story. Anyhow, I'm going to say goodbye and take it easy till next time. Love y'all.